Here we are at 516 Sanctuary Golf Place in Apopka. This is our most secluded and largest lot here in our community. To the left of the house, right in the picture, is a sanctuary, which is unbuildable land. And behind the house is a golf course that you'll be able to see later with beautiful views. This is a uh, walkout basement home. It's on a slope, so we were able to build Instead of going up with the bonus room, we go down with the bonus room, and I'll be able to show you that later. And what that does, that allows you to have a beautiful outside deck on your main level, which ends up being on a second floor overlooking the golf course, and it's beautiful. So let's take a look inside. All right, you saw the outside of the house. Let's take a look inside. It's a beautiful 4,000-square-foot custom-built home. Going to be coming on the market at... 489. It's got a beautiful stone floor entry. Got some wood on the ceiling. It's beautiful even in the outside space. You know, it's 4,000 under air, but then we finish a lot of this outside space as well. And you have some beautiful, beautiful front conditions. Beautiful wood doors with glass. Come to the foyer area here. You have a butt joint travertine marble floor. Wood floors in your dining room, beautiful open dining room with a recessed ceiling and a crown with lighting above the crown molding on that dining room. It's beautiful with windows out to your front area on the front lawn. Then you have a pass through from the dining room with a little, little uh, granite tray space with some, some glass above. And coming through, we'll be right back to the bedrooms in a moment. You have a beautiful open kitchen with a center island with a separate center sink. And then you have your main sink. You have a dishwasher. And then coming around to look from the other side, we have our, we have our little breakfast nook here. I'll show you that more in a moment. But you have this big open kitchen. You have a glass top stove. You have built-in microwave and oven. You have a warming drawer there, uh, just between the refrigerator and your oven. Lots of cabinet space, big cabinets with a crown top and a base as well. And lots of drawers, and look at the wood, it's beautiful. You got a little overhang here. And then you have this breakfast nook, which is actually a very large breakfast nook. It's almost a casual dining, the amount of space that it has with big open windows that look out over the golf course. And, since I, I, I told you earlier, this is a, a uh, walkout basement house. This is actually on the second level. And you're looking out over the golf course here. It's beautiful. You got, again, you know, wooden ceiling. Lots of cam lights. Lots of lighting in this house all over the place. That just adds to the beauty and the value of the home. Right off of your kitchen, you have your large family room, leisure room. Again, it has a recessed ceiling with a crown and a built-in ceiling fan with built-ins and cabinets for your entertainment center. You have all your you know, cable boxes and DVD and Blu-ray players. And then again, that walks out to your patio area. We'll take a look out there in a moment. Off your family room here, you have a full bath, which is your hall bath. It also doubles as your pool bath. You have tiled space that comes and goes to a door outside to your pool area, out to your patio. So this doubles as your pool bath as well as your hall bath. And then you have a bedroom here on your main level. With windows to outside. And of course closet space. Two closets and that wraps around into one very large closet. Coming back outside to the, to the uh, the leisure room, you got wood floors in here. Coming over to another bedroom. Large bedrooms in this house, as you see. You got your bed, and then you have a lot of extra space. You have ceiling fans, windows to the outside. You have stacked stone outside. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's beautiful finishes. This has its own private bathroom, full bath. It's all on the main level large laundry room. We don't like to make our laundry rooms where you're walking through your garage and you're bumping into your washer and dryer coming into your house. You have lots of folding space, 
If you have a sink in here, if you have to do any sort of treatment on your clothes, and of course your washer and dryer, what's well, a laundry room without washer and dryer, and you have some extra storage space here, because you know, you always have to have all your detergents and everything. You have a lot of room to keep everything. Take a look at the other side of the house for your master bedroom. So, so far we've seen two bedrooms and two baths. You have another bedroom here overlooking golf course and of course a closet so it is a bedroom. Coming through you have your master, the very large master bedroom. You have a lot of space as you can see this is this king size bed and you still have a lot of room around your bed. Lots of space. And of course this is overlooking the golf course and behind the house. And here you're at the second level. You're on the main level. You have a, it's basically a master bedroom downstairs, but you still have this upstairs feeling of looking out in your upstairs, but your master bedroom is on your main level. So that's great. You have the best of both worlds. You have a crown molding in here. You see a crown molding. And throughout the home, you have a, a big base. You have a tall base. So it's just the finishes throughout the home. It just, it, it, you know, it shows throughout the entire house. Even the master bed a bathroom, you have crown molding, a drop and a recess, built-in ceiling fan, which is all centered around this beautiful tub. Then you have his and hers vanities on both sides. You got me in the shot there. You have two closets, a very big his closet, lots of room, built-ins with drawers. And then you have hers closet, of course, is a little bit bigger built-ins and drawers on both sides and you're coming around you got a large large shower big shower with, with a seat all kinds of space it's got double heads it's a handheld head as well as a stationary one Then coming back out of the master wing, just give you an idea of where we are in the house. This is the original area that we came through with the pass through from the dining room. And then the kitchen on the right side. Let's take a look downstairs really quick. Now this is a, as I've said many times so far, this is a walkout basement. So instead of going up to a second floor for a bonus room, we're walking downstairs to go to a bonus room. And that allows you to do a lot of different things. If you have, you know, older parents and, you, you know, they can't really do stairs, you can walk them in from outside and I can, ta I can uh, show you uh, that a little bit later. And you have this big bonus room downstairs. You have a wet bar with a chiller, full wet bar. And you have this big open bonus room with walkouts outside and a couple great features about this bonus room. You have a closet here. Actually, you have a whole wine cellar. It's a great wine cellar and you see here you have control system, some places for wine glasses course and some extra storage here in the back yeah, and these sort of boxes and things like that so there's a lot of storage room in this house of course another closet just because you know you can never have too much storage space we live here in Florida we don't really have basements this house has a basement but it's a walkout basement it's an entertaining basement area it's fantastic off of the bonus room you have a bathroom here which serves two purposes, serves the bonus room, and this is a full bath, a vanity, toilet, and then you have a full shower here. And sometimes, just remember, I forgot to show you earlier, there's a bidet in the master suite. I can show you a picture of that later. Here's bedroom for downstairs and there's a closet so it's a bedroom but you can use this as you know it could be a playroom off of your bonus room it could be an office it could be a man cave down here it can serve so many purposes based on 
based on your needs. It's great, we're going in the kitchen, I'm sorry, the uh, garage here. It's a big open garage. It's a three car garage, but then you also have this extra space. So it's really a four car garage. You have three car garage here, two and one. But then you have this extra space here where you can fit a fourth car. Walking back a little bit to show you. As well as an open pad for just you know more storage space. The closet over there, a little a couple shelves, quit paint or something. And your HVAC equipment, hot water tank. Let's go take a look outside. Outside they have a jungle gym out here, a little trampoline with a cage. But you have some space out here. You know, put something like that or have maybe a basketball hoop out here on your driveway. So as I was telling you, you have this driveway that wraps around. So you, if you have people who can't really do stairs, you can walk them down here, roll them however they, however they can get down here. And then you can go straight in, here's your garage and then your path to get back into the house. And over here on the right, I showed you earlier, you have this sanctuary, which is non-buildable land. Not gonna build, be building any houses down there in the near future. And, you know, you have all this space to yourself. It's very secluded out here. You know, this two-story house with that second floor, that's your main level. See that window, that's your master bedroom there overlooking. So you're on the main level, but you know, you have this beautiful view overlooking the golf course. And I'll show you some of those views from the golf course. Um, in a second. Let's go back inside. I'm going to cut the video and we're going to go out in the patio. Alright, we're back upstairs in our dinette. We're going to take a look outside and see what kind of outside space you have. This is on your main level. You have big open space where you can have lawn chairs as they have, or you can have a table out here and have meals, have dinner, have barbecue. You have a screen enclosure. Sorry, it's a little dark. There we go. There we go. Lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. Got some space here for a small grill. Double-handed to get out of the door. You have a little shower out here, so you have some room to wash off before going into the pool. Then outside, you can close the door behind me real quick. There we go. You have this beautiful pool area which is fenced off. You have a little sun shelf with an umbrella, a little bubbler. You got a spa, heated spa, and a wrap around pool. You got a deck out here with some chairs. And the great thing is you're on the second level up here. So you have this beautiful view, beautiful view down the golf course. You got a golf course lot here with big trees, big mature trees. It's a beautiful day. The golf course and then again you got the pool right here you got the back of the house you have your dinette and in the background and the trees that window back there that's your master bedroom you got a tile arch roof in this community all our homes are going to be tile or slate roofs paved driveways three car garages this is an upscale community all the homes 2400 square feet and up this home 4,000 square feet, 489,000, beautiful view. Absolutely beautiful. This can be yours for 489,000. So I hope you enjoyed the video and come out and see us.